Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another experiment here in Schedule One. My name is Savin, founder, president, and CEO of The Syndicate. We have been trying to determine the best grow pot setup, the most efficient, the most effective, the one that'll give you the most product in the least amount of time. And we've run a series of experiments and have come up with some pretty interesting results. Last time, we determined that drying racks suck. In the current version of this game, they are useless. If you're looking to produce high quality buds, your best bet is to use six air pots set up with fertilizer and no drying racks. But is that actually the case? That is what we're going to determine today. As we know, botanists in this game are slow. To say they lack a sense of urgency would be an understatement. When you assign a botanist to a pot, first they have to fill the pot with dirt, then they have to plant the seed, then they have to water the plant. After that, the plant will start to grow. But they do take their sweet time getting everything set up. Adding fertilizer to the mix only gives them an additional task to accomplish, which once once again, they take their sweet time applying. So with the addition of fertilizer to the mix, does that change the optimal setup in terms of how many air pots you should run? That is exactly what we're going to find out today. So let's head down to the factory floor and I'll show you what we're working with. And here is the setup for today's experiment. Once again, I've got four, uh, four se uh, sections here. We've got a four air pot section, five, six, and seven. Each of the pots is gonna be growing the OG Kush seed and using only fertilizer. So each botanist will work their station and then they will place their finished high quality buds on their storage rack. Each botanist will also be assigned a handler to keep their supply racks all stocked up and good to go. And they, uh, the handlers will also be moving the buds down the row. That way the storage racks don't fill up, which would halt the progress of the experiment. At the end of the day, I'm going to be consolidating all the buds, brooking them up, and we will take a look at all of our results. I've got four stations here, one for each of the setups out there. We've got our four air pots set up and I went ahead and labeled them this time so I wouldn't get confused on which one was which. This one here is our five air pots set up. We've got our six air pots set up and last but not least our seven air pots set up. So we are going to be running this experiment for three days. Fertilizer only, no drying racks, toss those in the bin. They are useless until the developer implements the heavenly quality. Until that, there's a need for that. Drying racks are just terrible. Do not use them. So now we're going to see which of these setups will actually produce the most high quality buds in a three day period. So all that's left to do is motivate the troops. Let's head on out. We'll give them a little pep talk and we will get this party started. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another experiment. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. You guys have been doing some superb superb work we have got another experiment that we have to run you know the drill get our three hours of sleep so guys i want to see your best tomorrow let's uh let's hit the hay we'll get our three hours in the morning we will get this new experiment going and uh but let's go ahead hit the hay and we will get to it tomorrow it is the morning of day one the workers are busy little bees getting ready to put in their day's work we will check in on them at the end of the day and see how they've done And we have reached the end of day one. I'm going to hop on down, get everything consolidated and bricked up, and we will see the results. All of the buds have been consolidated, 
So let's take a look at our results for day one. Starting off with our four air pot setup. We have eight bricks and four loose buds for a total of 164 high quality buds. Next up, we have our five air pot setup, which yielded eight bricks and 16 loose buds for a total of 176 high quality buds. Moving on to our six air pot setup, Setup, which yielded eight bricks and 16 loose for a grand total of 176 high quality buds. And last but not least, we have our seven air pot setup, which has yielded eight bricks and 16 loose for a total of 176 high quality buds. So currently we have a three way tie heading into day two. Very interesting. All we have left to do, go motivate the troops, head to bed, and we will keep this experiment a rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, excellent work after day one. We've got two days left to go. So I want you guys to get your three hours of sleep. In the morning, we're gonna be getting up and getting right back to it. So make sure tomorrow, give me your absolute best. I wanna see how many buds you all can produce. Let's hit the hay and then let's get to it. Day two. It is the morning of day two. We're gonna let our workers do their thing and we will check in on them at the end of the day. the end of day two. I'm gonna hop on down, get all the buds consolidated, and we will take a look at our results so far. All of the buds have been consolidated. Let's take a look at our day two results. Starting with our four air pot setup, which has yielded 19 bricks and 16 loose for a total of 396 high quality buds. Next up, let's take a look at the five air pot setup, which has yielded 21 bricks with eight loose for a total of 428 high quality buds. Next up, we have our six air pot setup, which has yielded 21 bricks or a total of 480 high quality buds. And lastly, we have our seven air pot setup, which has also yielded 21 bricks for a total of 480 high quality buds. Two days down, one to go. Let's go ahead and motivate the troops. Ladies and gentlemen, excellent work. We've got two days down, one left to go. I want to see your best tomorrow. Let's get our three hours of sleep. And tomorrow, I want to see you hit it hard. Get as much work done as you can. Let's finish this thing off strong and see how much bud you guys can actually produce. Great work so far. Let's finish strong. Let's get to it. Day three. It is the morning of day three, the final day of our experiment. Our workers have already gotten started. We're gonna go ahead and let them do their thing and we will check in on them at the end of the day and get our final results. And we have finally reached the end of day three. Another experiment in the books. Let's hop down, consolidate the buds, and get our final results. All of the high quality buds have been consolidated, so let's take a look at our final results for this experiment. See which air pot setup is actually the best. Starting off with our four air pot setup, we have a total of 31 bricks for a total of 620 high quality 
buds. Next up, we have our five air pot setup, which yielded 34 bricks and 12 loose for a total of 692 high quality buds. Moving on to our six air pot setup, we have 33 bricks with four loose, which gives us a total of 664 high quality buds. And our last setup, the seven air pot setup, which has also yielded 33 bricks and four loose for a total of 660 for high quality buds. Yet another experiment in the books, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm actually kind of surprised at the results of this one. I was pretty much convinced that the six air pot setup would be the winner. However, it turns out that by adding fertilizer into the mix, that one extra duty assigned to the botanist makes the six pot setup no longer the most effective. Our winner this time around is actually the five pot setup, which produced a total of 692 high quality buds. So that means if you're looking to produce the most amount of high quality buds, you are going to use five air pots with fertilizer and that's it. As I said, surprising results. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Before we sign off, let's go ahead and thank our wonderful staff for all of their hard work. What a tremendous job they did with this experiment. Ladies and gentlemen, great job. Yet another experiment down. The data that you guys have been providing us has been tremendously helpful. I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. Walter, thank you so much. Jason, I really appreciate your hard work. Sharon, as always, great job. Thank you so much. Jacob, how you doing, man? Great job. Thank you for all your hard work. I really do appreciate it. Anthony, number one, great job, man. Great job yet again. Jesse, keep it up, man. You always kill it. Thank you so much, Jesse. Anthony, number two, appreciate you, man. Thank you for all your hard work. And of course, last but not least, Margaret. Thank you so much. Another excellent experiment in the books, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you join me next time when we take a look at which grow pot setup is best for poor quality buds. We found out what works for high quality, but what is the best additive and pot setup for poor quality buds? As it pertains to high quality, I will leave you with yet another core motto from the syndicate. Fertilizer and five makes your business thrive. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and keep on grinding.